Hello, this is Ty Anderson for Add-in Express. In this video, I will show you some of the ways in which you can begin to customize an installation package for a click twice deployment. Some of the customizations I want to cover in this video is one, how to add a custom dialog box to the installation that allow you to display an end user license agreement, um, how to add additional files, and also how to specify certain prerequisites that are required for your solution. So let's go ahead and get started and what I will do is we'll just create a new project in Visual Studio and under the other project types under extensibility we'll choose the ADX COM add-in type and I will call this customize click twice and I'll say OK. In the new project wizard I'll select Visual Basic as my project. I'll support Microsoft Office 2000 and up. I'll say next and I'll choose Excel and Word as my supported applications. Really doesn't matter for this demo. We're not really going to write any code. We're more focused on how to customize the setup package. I'll click Next and I will generate a new strong name key file and say Finish. Yeah, and there we go. And when done, it should show up in Solution Explorer. There we go. Get my Windows set. And now we're set to go. With the add-in module open, it's a good time to point out uh, one, of the, one of the key things you can do is that you can set whether or not your application is at a per user level or a per machine level. So with the add-in add -in module selected, what we can do is then go into the properties and look for the registered for all users property. And here uh, it's, it's set to false by default and that's how we want to leave it for a click twice deployment. But if you wanted to make it registered for all users and make it for a, which would make it a per machine installation, you'd say true, but uh, we need to leave it for uh, per machine here. And so I'll leave it as false. Now for an easy customization, we can right click and go to properties, right click the project name and solution explorer, head over to properties and then we can go to the assembly information and we can change all of this which is I mean, we're not doing anything custom in terms of the logic of the installation but it is a quick and easy way to customize at least the information displayed to the user so here I could put a description of sample click twice installation and I could say add in LTD. And the product will leave that as custom click twice demo. No need for copyright, trademark, or any of that. The assembly version is fine. I could customize the number if I wanted. All that. And I'll say OK. With just these little changes, we have enough, I think, for demonstrating creating a setup project and a click twice project here. So what we'll do is build. We'll build the solution. And that was successful. And so now what we'll be able to do is go ahead and create first this to do click twice. It's a two two step process within Visual Studio to create that deployment package. The first is to build the MSI setup project and then then to publish it for click twice deployment. So we'll go ahead and get started with that right now. Building the MSI project is pretty simple. What we do is we say project and we go down to the create setup project menu option which brings up the new setup project dialog and what we can do is say this is the customize click twice demo solution and the description it picked up from uh, the assembly information same with the product name and the company name we'll click next and then for the file name I want to change this just to be the customize click twice setup and for the output directory it will go all the way here to customize click twice customize click twice setup and then 1.0.0 I'll say finish when complete what we have is within our solution we have two projects one is our actual customized click twice com add-in solution and then its corresponding MSI setup program and we'll see that we have in here the ADX loader uh, .dll .manifest, the ADX loader .dll, the ADX loader 64 .dll, which is the 64-bit. Both the 32-bit and the 64-bit are included by default. And then next is the ADX registrator .exe, which will register our solution on the targeted machine, and then the extensibility .dll. The first thing, or the first customization I want to make on this installation is 
within the primary output I want to edit the I want to use the user interface editor to change the installation screens and what I can do is in this start section I have both I have two kinds of installs one uh, standard user install or just called install and then the administrative install if it's an administrative user ins installation uh, what I want to do is add a dialog I have a lot of choices and all I did was right click on the start node and choose add dialog which opens up this add dialog window and within here I want to choose the license agreement and this dialog shows the customer a license agreement and I'll say OK which puts it down here in the bottom but I want this screen to show uh, right after the welcome so I'll drag it right up there like that now what I need to do with this selected is go over here to the properties window and find my license file which I happen to have a license file right here in my demos folder just demo EULA for end user license agreement it's an RTF file and we'll see that it doesn't really have anything in it it's a demo so I don't want to put any illegalese here but uh, you get the idea end user license agreement and insert your EULA right here okay close that and what we do is I need to add this file to the primary output from customize click twice here so what I want to do is in the out application folder I want to add a file and so I'll go to my demos folder and I will add the demo EULA RTF file and say okay so we have that there I'll close that editor and go back to the user interface editor where now I can browse to my application folder and select the demo EULA file and so what will happen here is I can I mean this after the welcome screen the license agreement will display and it will display the contents of this file now I need to do this again for the administrator install and I'll say add dialog I have less choices here and I'll choose license agreement again I'm going to move it up to just under the welcome dialog and again I'll choose the license file and I'll say OK. So right here we've made two customizations. One, I've added a new file that would be included with the installation and it would be installed, if we're going back to here, it will install in the application folder associated with this file or with this solution. And then I'm using that to customize the actual installation uh, wizard, the dialogues, and adding a license agreement and displaying the contents of that file. So those are two great customizations that I think are, are pretty slick. So to move on and build the click twice portion of this, let's, what we need to do is first build our entire solution so that we have the MSI setup program. And just a quick note here, this warning of the ADXL or the ADX loader 64.dll, that's only because my platform is targeting the x86 platform, the 32-bit platform versus the 64-bit. Once, uh, once we have a successful build, and we do, um, we can uh, now move on to building. Actually, I need to select the right project, and I can go to Project, Publish ADX Project. The Publish dialog box opens up with the Click Once Deployment tab displayed by default, and what we want is the MSI-based web deployment, which is what's affectionately known as the Click Twice deployment option. And so what we start out with here first is the installer file, and we will navigate to our project. We're right here with the Customize Click Twice setup to the 1.0.0 debug and here is our MSI file. I'll select it and say open. And now for the uh, publishing location it's going to be MSI publish underneath our project's root folder and then for the installation U URL I'm going to specify a local path uh, but you could specify an FTP directory. Uh, HTTP is not supported in this option, but uh, FTP is, you know, or file share, network file share, that sort of thing. In this case, I am going to publish right here into my C hard drive under share, and I will just put it right there. So I'm going to copy that path, and we'll paste it. And then, if I want, I could do an icon file, and I'll go back to my demos and my icons, 
and I'll just choose this DB icon and for a certificate file I want to browse and I'll go to my demos folder and grab my demo certificate and say open and this is just a self certification it's not actually one from any of the trust authorities and last of all what I want to do is set my preferences and here I'm going to go ahead and leave everything as the default I'll do quiet mode during uninstall uh, I, I don't want to do quiet mode during install and then I want to show the downloader window say OK and for prerequisites this is the place where I can create setup program to install prerequisite components and in this case I will specify the .NET Framework 4 uh, since that's my target platform and in the specify the install location for, for prerequisites I'm going to say download them uh, not from the same location as my application I'm going to download them specify that they download from the component vendors website I'll say OK and because I specified prerequisites I actually need to use a file share name I can't just do the C share so I need to actually edit this and we'll say the name of my machine which isn't very user friendly 1542 US OOC unfortunately that's the name of my machine so just to make sure that it works I will copy and I'm going to paste here just to make sure okay perfect that works now I can go ahead and hit the publish button okay everything worked perfectly now let's uh, move the files over to this location right here and test the installation first let's move to the share that's great now I'm gonna move back to Visual Studio and I'll just open this in the Explorer window and I want to go to this MSI published folder and we'll grab everything that's in here and say copy and now we'll move over to the share and say paste and this matters these files need to be exactly where I said they would be because this is how the manifest knows where the files are so if I put them in the wrong location it would not be able to find them when I initiated the install so now I can move down to the 1.00 directory and we can go ahead and initialize the installation uh, just by double clicking on the customize click twice exe so here we see uh, welcome to the customize click twice demo I don't know if you noticed before but the in fact I'll cancel out say yes and when I click on it this time look in the top right hand corner excuse me the top left hand corner of the downloader right here and you see the DB icon now I'll say next and just as we specified in the MSI file right here is our end user license agreement so if you didn't know how to display an end user license agreement you now know how and if I say I agree I can click next and next and the installation will work just as we had planned so there you have it that's how you customize at least some of the things that you can do to customize a click twice installation package and in this demo I showed you how to add files to the installation package I showed you how to add a form or a, a new dialog in this case the license agreement dialog to the wizard that's part of the MSI package and then I showed you how to add prerequisites as part of the click twice portion of the publish or within the publish menu so you know in terms of click twice it's it's building one building your add-in two building your MSI installation package and customizing it as you like and then three uh, publishing it using the click twice uh, functionality provided by add-in express